Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. I'm Sonal Gupta and this channel is about increasing your understanding of physics. To clear your concepts, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for latest updated videos. This video session, you are going to learn how to derive the velocity equation in terms of the displacement and the amplitude. In a previous video, we have learned that if x is equal to x naught sine omega t, then the velocity v is equal to v naught cos of omega t, or you can say it is omega x naught cos of omega t. Now, we, if we apply the identity of trigonometry, which you've learned that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, so that means, therefore, cos square theta can be written as 1 minus sine square theta. Or if it is cos theta, then that would be written as plus minus square root of 1 minus sine square theta. So the same thing we are going to apply here. So we will write that this cos theta which you can say is cos of omega t, therefore I would say cos of omega t can be written as plus minus square root of 1 minus sine square omega t. So if I substitute this value here, what do I get the velocity equation? So velocity v becomes equal to plus minus omega x naught into square root of 1 minus sine square omega t. Now what is your sine omega t? Since x is equal to x naught sine omega t, so that gives us sine omega t is equal to x upon x naught. So let's substitute the sine omega t in terms of x and x naught. So this will give me v is equal to plus minus omega x naught into square root of 1 minus x square upon x naught square. So let's take the LCM. We get this as v is equal to plus minus omega x naught inside the square root you get x naught square minus x square and upon x naught square I'll take it outside the root as x naught so that this x naught and x naught cancels out we are left with the final equation v is equal to square root plus minus omega times square root of x naught square minus x square. So this is the equation for the velocity at any instant. So the equation for velocity gives us a very important result that if I talk about mean position, so at mean position means there is no uh, displacement from the mean position. So x is equal to 0, you have the velocity to be equal to plus minus omega square root of x naught square minus 0, which gives you v max that is equal to plus minus omega x naught. So this is the maximum velocity that exists in simple harmonic motion and this exists at the mean position. And if we talk of the extreme position, so I would say at extreme position, your um, x is equal to x naught. So the equation gives you v is equal to plus minus omega times x naught square minus x naught square. So you get a zero value. Therefore, at the extreme position, your velocity is equal to zero. And that is what you have learned for uh, simple harmonic motion, that the velocity is maximum while crossing the mean position given as omega x naught, and it is zero at the extreme positions. So let's look at this question, which is based on this formula. We have an object oscillate simple harmonically with frequency of 60 hertz and amplitude 25 millimeters. Calculate the velocity at a displacement of 8 millimeters. So we are given the frequency f is 60 hertz and we are given the amplitude x naught as 25 millimeters or 25 into 10 to the power negative 3 meters. We want to find the velocity corresponding to the displacement of 8 millimeters. So when x is 8 millimeters means 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So we have everything. We just need to find omega because we say since the equation that we have for velocity is v is equal to plus minus omega times square root of x naught square minus x square. We substitute the value, but we have to find omega as 2 pi f, which would mean 2 pi times 60, so you have 120 pi. So therefore, the value of velocity is 120 pi times square root of 
x naught square means 25 times 10 to the power of negative 3 square minus x square means 8 times 10 to the power of negative 3 square. Substituting these values and solving, you get a value of plus minus 8.9 meters per second. So that's all for this video session. In the next video session, you are going to learn how to find the time period of a simple pendulum. Thank you.